my classes belong to introduction to indian epigraphy it is in ma first semester cpt 1.2.1 the module 3 inscription of almidi the almidi inscription the oldest kannada inscription available as well as still so it is in the almidi village villagers they excavated the inscription in 1929 ad it is earlier in in the mud of the tank but villagers they see inspired to see that inscription then only they preserve in the front of irvadra temple in almidi village almidi village it is in belur taluk hasana district a small village 300 houses 1200 population dr m h krishna was a well known archaeologist who is a well known archaeologist he discovered the inscription in 1936 and he published text in the ma mysore archaeological reports the inscription were having two natures like one is external nature another one is internal nature the external nature is that inscription 4 feet high 2 feet width 16 lines this is very important inscription it is in the sand stone sand stone so language of the inscription the brahmi the very famous script during the mauryan period even ashoka the ashoka found the seven nine inscription across the karnataka there are two bra- branches of brahmi script nagaran brahmi and saudran brahmi nagari nandinagari gujarati marathi shanku sharada and other languages comes under the nagaran brahmi kannada telugu tamil malayali etc comes under the saudran brahmi in the very interesting the almidi inscription contain the early kannada sanskrita and brahmi languages the pillar on which the inscription was written stands around the 4 feet 1.2 meter height the following lines the cover on the front of the pillar you see the beginning top of the inscription the vishnu stuti it will start jayati shri parishrangna shagna vichya ruchata dwana vakshonanta agni so nama shrimat kadambappan tyaga sampannanan this all continue that inscription you see that inscription 16 lines you see significance of the almidi inscription the early kannada script among the available inscription number 2 this inscription belong to kadamba dynasty the kadambas fought against the pallavas kks supported the pallavas alupas sendrakas banas supported the kadambas the pushupati he is the leader of alupakula the inscription very much glorified the pushupati who is pushupati pushupati is the son in law of the kakastavarma the real hero of the inscription is vijuvarasa but vijuvarasa he was neglected in the inscription vijuvarasa is the not a king but an ordinary soldier and he fought against the pallavas in the presence of the kadamba chieftains he was gifted swar called bald galchu bald means swar galchu means wash dipped in the blood one of the pure kannada var among the 25 of the inscription along with the bal galchu he was given two villages called almidi mulevalle 
these are two important places this inscription mentioned many kannada words like kotta vitta bartol kaldol keldol alivol nadol samaste odoli adan kadambappan sutanige etc finally the conclusion it is one of the best charity inscriptions it refers four important things potpondi means 1 by 10 it is one kind of tax sarvigna means shadbaga shadbaga it means 1 by 6th part that is one type of tax in the earlier period kurumbidi kurumbidi means kurige kurubarige bitta terige it means that is also one kind of tax naridavile it is one of the important province the kadamba state we never forget and dr m h krishna an archaeologist who discovered this inscription in 1936 and published in a mya dr m h krishna published this inscription elaborated in the prabuddha karnataka journal in 1939 ad this inscription comments with the prayers of lord vishnu this is lord vishnu if that inscription belongs to shivastuti namastunga shiraschumbi chandra chamara chara vetrayodokya nagara arambha moola stambhaya shambhave but this inscription belongs to vishnu stuti that is called shri parishvanya shagna that's all in the top of the inscription sudarshana chakra can be seen which is the having 24 marks the famous hampi kannada university adopted this sudarshana as its emblem so thank you for cooperation